Hi everyone, welcome back to the Ranger Shop. So if you're new, welcome. We discuss everything about Ford Rangers in this channel. If you're returning, thanks for the support. So in this episode, I wanna cover a topic that I brought up before. We've got a three liter standard transmission and we're gonna take the lower gears out of that and put it in mine. We're also gonna discuss a few upgrades that we can do to the transmission as we're doing it. Let's get started. So why are we going through all the trouble to take this apart and put it into that one. Well, what it does is it gives us a lower first, second, and third gear. I'll post in the description if you wanna actually see the difference between the gearing. Now for myself, when I built my truck, I used 456 gears, rather than I probably should have gone with 488s if I wasn't gonna do this modification. But with this modification, I get that low gearing for first, second, third, but then when I'm on the highway, fourth towing or fifth, it's the exact same ratio. So that works out really well. It gives me good fuel economy, but still good towing power. Let me show you now what parts I've got to do this swap. Okay, so here's our parts that we have. And again, I'll link them in the description if you wanna see, but I've just got a standard gear rebuild kit. I like these ones, they've got good bearings. These are Japanese bearings. Then I ordered a tower rebuild kit here. This is just for the shifter, tightens it up. And also I found my, my boot here was leaking around the shifter. So the fluid was coming out and also uh, it just gives you a, quite a bad smell in the, in the cab. And I had to order a shim kit for the transmission and then two lock, lock nuts. So we've got the counter shaft and the main shaft lock nuts. Also, this is a little bit different. This is a steel retaining plate for the counter shaft and main shaft. And what this does is often the aluminum will wear out. And sometimes you'll, you'll feel that, like a lot, of, a lot of Ford Rangers you drive, you can see that the shifter moves quite a bit back and forth. And also you get kind of uh, like a growling noise. Well, usually what that's done is it's worn out this aluminum retaining plate, especially when the counter shaft's moving back and forth, it just kind of pounds it out. So this is a machined steel one, and this was recommended to me from, from a guy that does a lot of desert racing where you're really pounding on it. So that's, that should improve that. So again, I'll post the part numbers in the description. Let's get this done. I'm gonna put away these parts, take this other transmission off here, and we're gonna take apart this three liter transmission and get our counter shaft out of there and, and get that ready to go into the four liter. Just one thing I just wanted to show you was with this re rear retaining plate. Now this is off the three liter, which had a really light duty life. It was a two wheel drive, single cab uh, truck. But let me just show you how pounded out this is. And then you'll get to see why we get that excessive end play and noise in these transmissions. Can you see in there where it's worn, where the bearing wore out the aluminum retaining plate? That's why we use the steel retaining plate. It doesn't pound it out like this aluminum one. Anyway, let's get this transmission apart. Okay, so I got the main shaft out here. It's really tricky. You just gotta get this thing all the way forward, all the bearings out, obviously, so the counter shaft is down as low as it'll possibly go. And then you can see how this uh, input shaft's got these uh, cutouts here. So that goes right on top of that gear almost. And then it's got to go over to the side. Like it's sitting in there almost like that right now. And then you can take out this part of the main shaft out kind of sideways like that, up and then out. So here it is over here. So this has got the four liter gears and I'm going to be swapping it with the three liter gears. And that's a two wheel drive shaft. So that's the only part that really we're not using. Everything else from the three liter transmission I'm putting in. So let's get this over here. I'm going to press this bearing off. I just got a guillotine that I put on here and then put that in the press and take that off. And then let's get the new gears on and get this thing put back in. Also, just one other thing I wanted to mention is the rebuild kit that I list in the description didn't come with the needle bearings. Quite a few needle bearings in here, like between all these gears and the main shaft. I ordered um, just the needle bearings to add to the to the rebuild. And then while I was at it, I picked up another one of these just because I saw there was quite a bit of little, like little bits of metal and stuff in the old one. And I just didn't feel like trying to get it out. This was really cheap. Okay, so let's get this assembled. This is a problem. This is something, I don't know. I'm not sure how people are doing this now. I thought I had a good idea. 
I thought just swap over all the three liter gears onto the four liter shaft and the three liter counter shaft but now that's not going to work. So I just looking at the shaft here and you can see, well, you can physically see there's a, quite a difference, but I'll just give you a quick look at the difference in this shaft, like where, where the second gear rides here. Okay, so that's 47.93. And look at the difference there. That's like a quarter inch difference. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, 44. So way different. The four liter shaft is way bigger. The whole, even here where these splines are, is bigger. Now I can't, you can't just go and throw the counter shaft of the three liter in with the four liter gears because the four liter gears are different sizes. I've counted, I even put a paint mark here and counted. So that is very interesting. This is kind of disappointing. I was really hoping this would work, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Okay, I've done a little investigating here. So I've counted every tooth, every gear, marked it, counted it, made up a little chart here. So you can see it coming through here. So it comes in on the input shaft, down to the counter shaft, across, and then out this way. So you can see our first gear on the 3 liter is 3.7. That's the 1.65, this ratio, times the 2.25. That gives you 3.7. And then the 4 liter comes across, and then it comes out 3.4. So definitely a lower gearing on the 3 liter. And that was what I was looking for right there. I just assumed that I'd be able to get that. But... As discussed, there's no way that this is going to fit on there. These gears are not going to fit on there, and you can't just use some gears and then not use the same counter shaft because it's all one counter shaft. So we're going back to the 4 liter, I guess. We're just going to put the 4 liter gears back on. It's kind of disappointing. But there was some damage. My input shaft, my old input shaft. Let me see if I can get it here. Yeah, do you see that there? So that's the main reason why I took the transmission apart. You could hear that ticking away as you're driving, driving me crazy. That's good to get that fixed. And I can use the three liter, since this is the exact same, that's the same gear ratio, as you can tell by the chart. I can use the three liter uh, input shaft on my four liter. So I'm gonna get that done. And then just put in all new bearings, obviously, get this thing pressed back together. So, okay, let's get this thing put together, this main shaft. So I got the transmission just sitting here on end. I've got that steel plate in there torqued into spec and just all the weight is sitting down against that plate. And we just tap this down just to make sure it's fully seated all the way down. And then we take a measurement how far this bearing sticks up, how far this one sticks up, and then the dis difference between how far it's in here and then same with here. In the manual, then it gives you what type of shim you want to put in there. So I've got that figured out. This is the shim that I'm going to use. Here's the oil seal and in there you can see the oil pump put a new oil pump in there just a little plastic thing here's the three liter bearing retainer you can see the shim there's like a little step here and that's where this oil seal goes in fits right in into that shim so that that shim's got to go that way you can't put it in that way new seal both shims it's all set so let's put some rtv on here being very careful not to put too much here or here. Oh, also, also, I just put a little bit of grease on the back side of this so it holds all of it in for when I flip it upside down to put it in there. It's not all going to fall out on me. There we go. So you can see it's not much RTV at all on there. Very, very little. Just enough to make a nice seal. And then I'll put a little bit of RTV on the threads, the bolts, because they go right through. Okay, there we go. So, feels really good. I can't feel any play the main shaft here. There's a little bit of play in the counter shaft down below. That's pretty normal. That's good. I'm going to start now with the building the back, the reverse and overdrive. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the top cover here. And what I did is I put a new gasket in it, obviously. And then this is one of the big problems with these transmissions is it leaks out fluid through these back uh, ports. These are normally just a rubber plug that fits in here. And so the, they provided these little, almost like a little frost plug that gets pounded in here. So those are in there. I'll rebuild the shifter after. I'm just, I've just put this in temporarily to make sure all my gears are working. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I am going to drill this here, tap it and put a vent in this transmission. It doesn't have a vent. Okay, there we go. So that's 
where I ended up putting it just high enough so that I could get the bolt still in here. And now I can run my line just kind of down here and over the top of the transmission. Okay, let's get this thing assembled now. So let's wrap up this video here. So what did we learn? I just wanted to cover a few of the basics just so you don't have to go through the same thing I did. So first off, I think there's a misconception out there that you can take a four liter sock, a five speed, swap it with a three liter or a 2.5 and get some uh, granny low gears. I think you can, but it comes at a cost. So this is what I think happened. So I think what happened is before with the four liter overhead valve and the three liter 2.5, all exactly the same. So you could swap those, even the gears on the main shaft, they could be swapped. But then when they came out with the four liter sock, they came out with the M5OD R1 HD, heavy duty. And I believe they did change some things inside. So as you saw with that output shaft, it's a bigger output shaft, uh, larger size bearings. You can get those lower gears, but at a cost to strength. And when I was considering it, because honestly it wouldn't have been that hard just to order an output shaft from a three liter four by four and throw it in there. But I didn't want to lose the strength of that beefier shaft that's in this HD. So I think that's it. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video, at least learned some things. We did increase the strength a little bit with that steel plate back here. And then we also covered a few tips for rebuilding it. I'll link down in the description a good video for actually doing a step-by-step -step of the rebuild and also maybe an article of someone who went through it documenting it very well. Both the article and the YouTube video I really enjoyed. I also recommend grabbing a manual, shop manual, because it does help, especially for the shim sizing, for the uh, torque specs, that sort of thing. And I mean, even just uh, how to put it together. Although this transmission is very, very simple. It's a very simple transmission. I really believe that just about anybody could do it as long as you keep track of uh, your process as you take it apart. So that's it. Let's get this transmission back in. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.